Hello and welcome to this brand new thing on my channel, guys. It's a base race. And this particular one is for December 2017 and the theme is Christmas Past. What's that? <laughs> so what is a base race, guys? Well, there's basically two stages in a base race. The first stage is I need to collect all of these things that you can see before you and in this case some secret ones as well. And the second stage is build a base and it's just basically a little friendly competition between other base racers you might say uh, who are also doing this uh, and um, where we need to collect this is in a um, specially custom made map. It's sort of like a cross I think between an adventure map and a uh, survival map if, if you will so we're gonna have a, a predefined base with a predefined bed and in that base there's gonna be a, a similar little pedestal like this and uh, as I collect things I can put them in a chest and they will tick off here so uh, as you can see here in this case we need a birch plank and uh, we need some porcel that's gonna be an interesting one we can choose some different things here uh, some different leaves or wool or clay. We'll get to that in a minute and uh, we need some we need to do some mining as we can see here probably and When you mine you need to bring your buckets, so that's fine. Ah, oh, we need bows So we need string and we need bone as well So we're gonna have to fight some mobs here and then we need a bunch of iron and some other little goodies like that so that's what we're gonna be doing and this is gonna be uh, basically a uh, one a day thing for me now I think or a couple three or four every week now and this um, my dear friends is part of the Christmas advent calendar that I'm running on the channel so uh, there we go but before we begin right we're here somewhere underneath something probably or <laughs> something like that uh, so we have a bunch of choices that we need to make uh, and so, oh, I was going to say the following as well. There is a time limit. We need to do all of this collecting in two hours and 40 minutes or less. Activate the rails. I don't even know the recipe for that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so which part of the base race are you playing? I will be playing the whole thing. There we go. And then there are some rules here. Uh, do not harvest materials from the spawn base. Do not break or create a new bed. Do not go to the nether and silk touch is not required. So, for the porcel, we do not need silk touch. And um, mm, there might be something else as well that we don't need silk touch for. Anyway, we don't need silk touch. Which item would you prefer to collect build with? White terracotta and spruce leaves or white wool and birch leaves? Well, I mean, I am. I don't like uh, to build with wool normally, so we'll go for the terracotta. And here we get the item list that is behind us here as well, but in a book form, which is very nice. Thank you. Um, in this particular base race, we have a spark. If you haven't done so, by the way, there is an eminent video. I will link it in the description to a bit of lore regarding this particular base race. Um, so we are facing the entity, an unknown ancient evil that threatens our land. Uh, but to defend our land, um, our elders have just seen fit to freeze it. <laughs> However, we have been given the spark and whether we can unfreeze parts of the land and thus gather some of the blocks here as well. So you will see all about how that works later. but. My upgraded spark is volatile or helps me travel or hurts them. Now the thing is, I am a little bit worried here. We need a bunch of spiders and bones. So I'm going to go for it hurts them. Maybe I can have some help. Yeah, throw the spark at your enemies. It's basically hopefully like a throwing star of sorts. And finally, the entity's fire minions are hovers, jumpers. Christmas jumpers they are, or foot soldiers. So the thing is, I have some theories here. I reckon that the minion has enrolled the minions of... The entity has enrolled the minions of the nether. So if they're hop, uh, hovers, there will be blazes. 
If they're jumpers, they would be magma cube things. And if they're foot soldiers, they're probably going to be uh, pigmen. And I don't want to face Blaze. Uh, so it's between pigmen or... Uh, but pigmen are easier to control. So let's try try that. Through the cracks in the wall, the entity sends fiery axemen. Okay, fair enough. So you can be a patron of the creator of the base race, who is called Ed. He has a channel called the Mob Cave. Go and check it out, guys. It's shiny stuff over there. Uh, if you are a patron, you get a uh, snowman as a reward. But I am not a patron at this time. So here you can read about the details and stuff like that. And guys, if you want to play along with me, I will also include a link to the world download. This is a vanilla thing, okay? This is all built in a vanilla with some command blocks and some functions. And uh, so Ed has done all that stuff. So go and support him and uh, join me in the race by all means. And uh, then just to make sure, we do re need a resource. Welcome to base race. Pack. That was Ed there. Um, and we got it. So there we go. I think we're set. Yay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play in 20 minute increments here, guys. Okay. So uh, I'm not counting this first bit here. But I have a timer set for when we get going. And so every episode, apart from this one, is going to be around about 20 minutes long, guys. So yeah. Let's get going. Uh... Here we go. We're in survival mode. Krampus was released upon naughty children in the base race last month by MP Place and Jungle All the Way. And uh, so this is their base that they built in the second stage of the last base race. And that is now going to be our base for this um, Christmas base race. So that's a cool thing. Right. If you build a base, uh, you can be uh, having your base. Did I just defile the base? Didn't I? <sighs> the rule specifically said, "Don't defile the base." I do it. The first thing I do. That's an enchanting table here. Yeah. Anyway, you get the gist, right? You can send in the base, and that could be the base for the next next base race. He sees you when you're sleeping. I think. Uh, last time we had the theme, or they had the theme mystery. Uh, but this is, uh, we're gonna see what this looks like on the outside in a minute. So here is our deal. And uh, we have some droppers. They're all droppers, right? They're not, they're not uh, dispensers, which is what we need the bows for. Oh, that's sneaky, that is. That is sneaky. What's down here then? Ice. Alright, anyway guys, let me, um, let me get myself sorted and we'll actually start the base race. The base race. <laughs> okay, I've started my timer. I'm heading out. Let's have a look at this fabulous contraption. Yay! <laughs> it's a giant crab thing. It's awesome. And there's a dog. Hey, food. Yes, yeah, so and now we're basically in survival, guys. And everything is ice. Although there are some ice pigs here. So I guess this is what we're going to use the spark for, right? To uh, try and uh, de-ice, defrost. It's basically a defreezer that you have for your car, but for the lands instead. So there we go. So this is now a, pretty much a typical survival game for now. But of course we have the spark and we have some other things as well that are going to happen, no doubt. The entity will send his minions upon us and so on and so forth. But I'm guessing in order to even find... Um, I don't know that I need the leather, but I will take it. Nothing else. I can eat your innards, Mr. M Cow. <laughs> I'm guessing these are trees, by the way. So if we throw a spark at them, we should probably be able to get our basic resources. Let's try it, yeah? Hey, here we go. <laughs> Getting some wood. So, um, I can't remember at all what I needed. I mean, there are some real expert, experts at this stuff um, that have done a ton of them. And uh, I will link to, to them in uh, the video as well, in the description. So go and check their versions of the base race out as well. Alright, so this didn't do the whole tree. Um, that means that it's going to stay there, which is not a bad thing really, to be honest. Ooh, there's a village over there. <coughs> Okay, 
maybe I should stop. Actually, I should be able to throw this at them. No, I missed. No. Okay, I'll just do it the old fashioned way then, guys, eh? There we go. Okay, well, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we need some sort of tool here, right? So, uh, what happens if I dig down here? That's another question, right? So let's make ourselves a pickaxe and see if the ground underneath is also frozen or what is going on with that. Ah, block lag. Yeah, uh, there is a slight risk of lag here. Um, there is a slight risk of lag here, I've been told. Yeah, now it's icy underneath here as well. Okay, fair enough. So we're gonna have to find some sort of ice cave, I reckon, and go in. Maybe this is thing. No, nope, this is not a thing. Let's go over to the village and see what they got. Maybe they have a dispenser shop. Who knows? <laughs> um, man, they, everything looks cool. I, I, I. Um, look at these frozen trees. That looks awesome, guys. I um, accidentally left the resource pack because I logged on just to see that everything worked before, and I accidentally left the resource pack. Um, on when I then logged on to another world and I was very confused about why the nether was all uh, icy and stuff until I realized of course that the textures are slightly changed here so it's very good that they managed to keep this, um, this stuff open it's gonna be good food for me I think although I'm not sure I want to eat beetroot soup just on pure principle. I heard a villager. Okay, so this guy. What are you selling, mate? He's a butcher. He sells food, so if I find any emeralds, my food supply might be um, sorted out. And there's this guy here. I guess they could have... Um, ooh, a priest. Hello, sir. I guess they could have custom trades as well, by all accounts, but it doesn't seem to be what they have. I don't know that I needed bookcases. Let me look. I have a little list of things that I need. No, I don't need bookcases. There's an awful lot of um, librarians in this here place, I have to say. Okay, so nothing, nothing there. How about in here? I'm looking for a blacksmith or something like that, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. No? Um, no, this is a general shop. Eh? <laughs> there we go. I don't think there is anything of particular interest in this, in this place. I need to also keep track of where I came from, by the way, so I can find my way back. Obviously it's over there, I can see it still, but um, I should really note down which direction, which general direction I'm going in, I think. That's probably a good idea. So, I got some food. I need a cave, that's what I need. Um, let's see, so I'm going now in the north direction. There should be a wall somewhere, because there, th this whole area is surrounded by an ice wall to keep the entity out. There we go, there it is. And uh, some sheep. I'm not allowed to make a bed, so that's less interesting. There is no cave here. Maybe there is a cave up ahead. I mean, I guess I will take a little trip to the north and to the south and to the east and to the west just to see what's going on. Although I guess it's getting dark now and that's bad. So before it gets dark, so here we are at the wall, I guess. Let's go up and have a look at it. Let's go up and have a look at it. Just a tiny peek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice wall to be sure. <laughs> Quite extensive one as well. Okay. So, wolves. There's a lot of wolves. I guess they like it. Um, they like the surroundings here, I suppose. With the ice and that. And they do kill the sheep for me. There we go. He's a wolf. 
Ow. I keep thinking this is a UHC, guys, so that I have to be careful with, with damage that I take, but it's not, so you shouldn't really worry about that. Now here, this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna throw the spark. Oops. Oh I did I threw it twice, didn't I? Okay, when you throw it twice, this happens. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if the mobs spawn here now, they will um, be much fiercer apparently. So maybe I should just leave this place alone now. But now I have some soul sand in case I need it. I think I saw another cave just like this one, a bit further up or towards my house. So I think I will go and try and find that there. Yeah, the base race guys, I've been watching these for quite a while. And I find them really interesting and intriguing because it's like it's it's a really different uh, sort of take on um, oh there's a thing up there it's a cave up there it's a really different take on uh, on the whole idea of uh, getting a base and uh, uh, you know going through the early survival stages uh, but with like a, a, an additional point to it you know what I mean so I I think it's going to be really interesting to see how we do here. So this, oh that's a cave, excellent stuff, excellent. And it's right near my um, my base as well, so let's try and throw the spark here. And where's my pick? Here we go. I don't think this stuff um, ices up again, but I could be wrong, of course. Oh. I heard a dude. I heard a dude. He sounded like an angry villager. Hey, get off my land, he says. <laughs> Clearly not happy. Clearly not happy. Wonder if uh, something's gonna happen now. Something's gonna jump me from behind, no doubt. I just want some basic stuff, dude. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool though, because now that uh, I know, because I know this is like a, a, a base race and I've seen the video where the uh, fire, eh? Why is there fire? Oh, there's a dude here. That thing helped, because I have no weapon. That's an illager. Flipping days. As we say. Hey, stop throwing fire at me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ah. The illager is on fire. Wow, he's lagging a bit. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to be hit by him though. Well, oh, there we go. Man, they set everything on fire, these guys. These guys are on fire, guys. Okay, can I please collect some stone in peace now, man? <laughs> ah, yeah, because I know this is a, a, a special map, everything is suddenly scary and unknown, you know? It's really cool. I like it. I don't know if I needed cobble, I don't think I did, but I do need cobble if you know what I mean. So I need some tools here, let's uh, see. I did have this, and this, and we have ourselves a thing. And we need to co cook up some food, and uh, we need, I guess, some more things as well. Maybe we need some more sticks for instance. Yeah, so... Um, I guess this first episode I'm gonna run about like a lunatic and uh, let's see we put that there pick on number two and shovel right and then we need to have the spark uh-huh being weird the spark is being weird it's midday all right we've got plenty of time so let's see we needed a birch plank which is kind of annoying we have to try and figure out where birch is. <clears throat> There's some woods over there. I still think I'm facing north. That's the woods we were in, isn't it? 
So I guess I can go around and, and unfreeze a couple of trees. I think we also needed spruce. Right, so we'll do that. But maybe I should cook something up first here. Cook up our mutton, or our beef. And then I can get some more beef as well, while I'm at it. And then we need to get some more trees. And uh, yeah, you see where this is going, guys. The list of things to do is very long and... Uh, well, it's very long indeed. There we go. Let me collect some beef. And we need to keep an eye on the timer, just a second. The timer is... Ooh, we only have seven minutes left, guys. Of this first episode. Crikey me. Time flies when you're being attacked by editors. For sure. That's a good cave, though. I think I need to return to that cave later on. And see if that can't be the start of something. Um, which might be a caving adventure. Because I suspect that we'll have to go through fair few of them to get this particular base race sorted out. Come on, die. I do wonder how, under what condition, that uh, those mobs spawned, by the way. That's what I wonder. Actually, maybe it was a normal spawn of the creeper, and then whenever normal spa uh, mobs spawn, there is a chance for a uh, editor or similar creature to Oh, I see, by the way, the editors are actually the foot soldiers, I guess, that we were talking about before, that I selected. That's a pretty good uh, foot soldier, actually, because um, I don't mind fighting uh, mobs like that. It's much worth, wor worse with ranged dudes, I find. So, let's see here. If we add all of this stuff here, I guess... yeah. Guess what, I'll run out of uh, <coughs> fuel here in a minute, but I'll get some more cows until then. And then we'll head and try and find some wood of varying types. Varying types. Yeah, the sparks seem to work, actually. The creeper and the illagers died after a little while. So that is cool. It's like a shuriken that sets people on fire. I approve. I deeply approve of this. That's not going to go well, so let's just pick this up and be on our merry way. Let's try these trees here. These looks like oak trees though, but I do need a bit more uh, just general purpose wood as well. So I'm sure that will be fine. There we go. Yep, oak tree. I think birch trees look like oak trees, but they're slightly taller sometimes. That's my theory of it anyway, so let's try and go uh, west of our base here a little bit. It's getting to night time, so I need to be a little bit careful. But uh, we also need to try and find some pot soil somehow. Did we need melons? I don't know if we needed melons. But hey ho, might as well take some. Um, This is going to be the biggest problem, isn't it? Keeping track of everything I need. That's going to be a bit of a hassle. So uh, I do have a list of the things I need, but um, I have to have my timer up at the moment. So that looks like typical oak trees, I would say. And that would be that one. No, that's also an oak tree. I guess this thing has some limited charges, but as you saw before, I need to be a little bit careful not to throw it twice. Ooh, that's a nice cave. That's a nice cave. I'll need to remember that one. Um, can things spawn, I wonder, on... No, no. I didn't throw it at you, man. Uh, on ice. On packed ice. I do not know. No. The wall is coming up here, and the night is coming as well. <laughs> I need to head back, don't I, guys? I need to head back and see if we can't find our cozy bed over in the crayfish. They said Krampus, by the way, that the base was Krampus. <clears throat> I don't know what Krampus or who Krampus is, so 
apologies. Aha! Results. Well, I need wood anyway, so I might as well take what I can here. I think I needed leaves of some description as well, although I, if my memory serves correctly, it was spruce leaves. So I have yet to find that. Uh, and I mean, I, I need obviously a bunch of uh, just blocks as well. But uh, that's easy enough to fix. Oh, there's a ravine here. That's also really handy. Mm-hmm. And our base is just over here. That's good. Okay, I think, I think uh, guys, tomorrow <clears throat> I'm going to go down in the ravine. And uh, we'll have a look and see if we can't find a bit of resources there. It would be good to iron up, I think. So let's see. We are at minus nine. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, we are at... Um, it would be good to iron up because we need to fight mobs as well. Hello, you look yummy. Breakfast is sorted. Bacon. Ah, I really love this landscape when it's icy and stuff. It's really, really cool. And, uh, uh, yeah, impressive work on the map. Impressive work. I love it. So, is there anything I want before I uh, delve into? Look at that, by the way. That is so cool. Frozen, frozen waterfall, and there's a cave as well. Is there anything else I want before I, before nightfall? I wonder. Hmm. 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 Nope. I don't think so. Let's go in and uh, place our birch log in the right place anyway, so we have that sorted. And uh, I will explain a little bit more and show you a little bit more how this works as well, since we can. So, we need to transform this into a birch log. And then I need to put it in the right place. And it happens to be the first top left spot, like that. So that's, that should be that sorted out, if I understand it correctly. You don't really get an indication here that it's sorted, I don't think. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then, like we said before, oh, I know where there's andesite. And we need to cook up some bricks. We might as well do that straight away then as well. So I just need to cook up four, if I understand it correctly. Aha! The alarm! So I'll just uh, put this on. I don't need any more birch, if I understand this correctly either. So we're alright. So um, I know where there's andesite. Uh, we can fix that. We have a cobble that needs to go in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth spot. One, two, three, four, five, six spot right there. And then we need brick, so we need clay and stuff. Okay. Anyway, guys, time is up. Oh, shush you. <laughs> time is up, guys. So I will see you next time. I hope you like this uh, idea of the base race. And uh, I hope you like the Christmassy theme of this one. So yeah, I will see you next time, guys. Bye!